It's big. It's mean. And it's a muddy green. Let me tell you about this diesel hawk right here. It's a John Deere 9400. Has a 12.5 liter engine in it, tuned to about 425 horsepower. Has a 12 speed power shift transmission, and it's one of John Deere's earlier power shifts, so it's got a little bit of that jerk to it. It has egg liter GPS in it for steering. It's a bareback, which means that it does not have a PTO. We mainly use this tractor for vertical tillage, and we also do it, use it to pull anhydrous in the spring to put our nitrogen down. We picked it up at an auction last year or the year before. It's extremely low houred. It's maybe around 3,500 hours, and it will pull your house right off the foundation. try and get a tractor ready to go we go through and we do some checklists on things get it ready the way we can do some preventative maintenance one thing we look at is the air filters we don't change the air filters every single year kind of depends on what the tractor does and when they get changed uh, but these are the original air filters to the previous owner so we don't know how old they are so we're gonna put some new ones in it this year first thing I gotta do is if anybody knows the price of land right now dirt's really expensive so I gotta save this I'm probably already at five bucks. Excuse me, camera. Watch out, man. I could probably grow corn on that next year. Now that I've got an acre's worth of dirt off of it, I can check on the inside panel here and it'll tell me how much oil it takes. So oil, 9100, 9200, 300, 4900, 9400, which if anybody, that's a good question to ask. If anybody's watching this video and they have a 9100 with the 8.1 liter engine in it, what do they like about that? I think the 9200 has a 10.5 liter engine in it, and the 93 and the 94 have that 12.5. Be interesting to hear in the comment section what people think of this 9100, 9200, and uh, 
The 93, 94 are kind of about the same tractor, just tuned a little bit different. I think you could correct me, but be interesting to hear that. Anyways, we can see here, approximate capacity is eight gallons. So I'm gonna need two five gallon buckets for, uh, well wait, no, 11 gallons. I'm gonna need three five gallon buckets to put into this tractor. All right, let's check how many hours this has. 32.45, I was off. That is one ugly three. Finally got this drain plug out. I have had been draining it out of the side piece right here. That drain plug took an impact to get out. The last person put it in there, put it in so tight that I couldn't get it out. But now I know that the oil is actually fully drained out of this tractor. So I can put this drain plug in. And then I've already changed the oil filter and made a mess. And I can start to refill it. Remember, folks, just snug your plug. All right, that's where I think I'm going to call it quits for the day. I got the oil changed in it. I am completely covered in oil. It was not my cleanest oil changing job by any means. I got to check the tire pressure. I still want to power wash this thing. I'm going to do that tomorrow, and we'll just pick this back up tomorrow. All right, we are up this morning and back at it. I'm going to start out my morning with a kind of a typical Iowa thing to do. Then I'm going to uh, show Wayne my latest YouTube video post. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be putting the dual... He kind of likes those. He doesn't also have internet, so I'm going to just show them to him on my iPad. And then yesterday, you guys saw what I got done was I basically I cleaned the tractor, all the mud off of the tractor, uh, changed the oil in it, got the oil level right where it should be, uh, then... Today I need to check the coolant and probably add some coolant. Check all eight at tires. Then I have to put the hammer hitch back on. And then finally, get the power washer going. Lunch time! <laughs> What's the sign say there? Beef and noodles. <laughs> right, now that I'm done with lunch and everything like that, now I can actually do some power washing. I got this off the internet. It's supposed to be one of those like spins in a circle type of tips for your power washer. I'm going to see if I like it, see if it moves dirt any quicker. Let's get the power washing. Alright guys, that's going to do it for that video. I'm going to thank you for watching. If you would, let me know what your favorite part of the video was down in the comment section below. But this diesel drinking beast right here, she's ready to go to work. We're going to go hook her up to the anhydrous bar tomorrow. And then hopefully, before too long, we can get into the fields and start getting ready for plant 19. Catch you on the next one.